you'll be six feet under with Biggie and Tupac. You understand me, Ju Tang Clan? <laughs> Skinny bitch came to play. What kind of girl brings non-kosher cupcakes into a kosher home? Not me. I'm not that kind of girl. Yeah, hi. I think I'm that kind of girl. Lex, what are you talking about? I made sure every single one of those was up to a rabbi's high standards. Yes, well, maybe my rabbi didn't have such high standards. I'm so sorry. I burned some, and we were running late, and I figured four non-kosher out of 80? So close. Lex, I told you how important all those traditions are to a Jewish family. Yes, you told me about tradition and family, but none of that meant anything until I felt that cold compress. And she was nice enough to put it on my head, and I felt what that feels like. And then Bubby blew on my soup before she ate the non-kosher cupcake. Wait, Bubby ate a non-kosher cupcake? It's a Shonda. It is a Shonda. I'm hoping Shonda means you're forgiven and we'll pay you anyway. We are not taking any money. That's right, you're not taking anything. Except for this compress. Feel better. Now go, get out of my sight. And don't wear short skirts. Esther Rachel, I want to talk to you about your son Shmuley's behavior today. What are you talking about? What did my Shmuley do? I'll tell you what he did. He became a man. That's all he did. Right, Caroline? <laughs> I'll say he became a man. What are you talking about? Shmuley! Stay out of it. This is not our family. You and I don't have a family. They still do. Let the police tell her about him. So about my Shmuley, what do you have to say? Mazel tov. He's a wonderful, wonderful boy. <laughs> oh, there you are. Shmuley, David, say goodbye to the cupcake girls. Nice, nice to meet you. Oh, thank you. So I see no Max. Is she still out sick? It's her first night back. She should be here any minute. Did you want to order something or wait for your boyfriend? Oh, see, this is a sad story. <laughs> uh, he broke off with me to date other women, and she had penis. <laughs> I can't compete with that. Hi, Earl. There she is, my long lost love. How you feeling, Max? I'm pretty good. Hey, Bubby. I brought you some chicken soup for taking care of me the last couple days. I enjoyed being your Bubby. I guess you were wrong, Max. You and I do have family, each other. We're not family until we have to testify against each other in a manslaughter trial. <laughs> Here, eat this. I don't want you to catch what I just had. Not gonna happen, Max. They took your advice. I manned up. I stared germs in the face. That's right. When you got 